Hey guys, Terry Weigel here, and sitting here at Starbucks, uh, about to go in and enjoy a free cup of coffee because I bought one of those life or month long free refills. So this is the last day, gonna take advantage of it. Hey, a lot of you guys have been uh, sending me messages, wish, wishing me well with the uh, situation with my mom. We had to take her to the hospital again last night. What a lot of you guys don't know is that uh, her battle with cancer has been going on for six years, a little over six years now. Anyway, and uh, Beverly and I have been the primary caregiver during that time where we've taken the doctor's appointments, this and that. My wife has done a beautiful, wonderful job. And... You know, the the things that happen when you're faced with this, all of a sudden, you have to make, like, split decisions and change whatever your plans were. And, and all of a sudden, they become the priority. Your family becomes the priority. The, uh, the, the situation takes over everything. And, and not complaining here at all. That's not the purpose of this message. The purpose of this message is... If this happened to you, what would you do? Could you respond? Could you actually take off? Could you get away from work? Could you get away from your boss? Could you get away from the things that you had planned and walk away and not worry about being potentially financially devastated? I mean, the emotional part is is there. It's it's impactful, but the 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 financial part that would be there and we're talking about at the drop of a hat. Could you take off and do whatever you needed to do? Take it a different direction. Could you do whatever you wanted to do? Could you go wherever you wanted to go? Those are the things you need to start planning for now because I can assure you when it impacted our family six years ago, we weren't expecting it. It wasn't anything that was on the horizon or anything that we were thinking was going to happen. And of course, that's life. That's what happens. So my challenge to you today, start thinking now, what can you do in the situation that you're in? And if you're in a job that holds you captive, as it were, or, or, or keeps you where you're at, what can you do to change that? Start thinking about those changes and start getting ready to make some. Talk soon. Bye.